So in this video, I want to tell you how to lucid dream in five steps. This is an updated mild tutorial. Don't worry if you don't know what this means, I'll explain everything. So the mild technique is actually the perfect lucid dreaming technique. If you're a beginner, it will let you become lucid and control your dreams with almost no effort whatsoever. You don't need to wake up early. You don't need to set alarms or anything like that. It's literally the ideal technique. So if you've come from as a beginner, this is exactly where you need to be. So the way that mild works is using prospective memory. So your ability to actually remember to do something in the future. You already use this thing. You already use prospective memory in your waking life. It might be something like you want to remember when you go to the shop, do you need to remember to buy mushrooms? You walk it, you, so then you go about your day, you forget about that and you walk into the shop. And then when you see the mushrooms, you think, oh yeah, I just remembered now I need to buy these mushrooms. So that's prospective memory. That is exactly the type of memory that you need to use to actually have a mild lucid dream. So the actual mild technique itself stands for mnemonically induced lucid dream. And it was actually developed by Stephen LaBerge. This was quite a while ago now, but it's been modified and it's been tweaked and lots of people have put their kind of spin on it, their different variations on it. This, in this video, as I said, it's five steps to lucid dreaming and it's my version of the mild. So this is my twist on it, my like unique spin on the different steps. I've even added a couple of steps. Okay, so this is my personal version of the mild. It's updated for 2023 and onwards and it takes into consideration everything I've learned teaching thousands of people how to lucid dream. All right, so step one of the five steps to the mild is you need to do reality checks throughout the day. And when you do them, they need to be really mindful. So a reality check is where you kind of test whether you're dreaming. You can try and push your finger through your palm. And if it goes through, you're dreaming, obviously. If it doesn't, then you're not, and you know you're awake. You need to, when you do these reality checks, again, several times a day, you need to truly question your reality. You need to really not believe that you're dreaming or awake. You need to actually kind of be kind of neutral. And it's like you're trying to find out if you're dreaming or awake. This is really important. Step two is all about uh, kind of visualizing combined with rescripting. So this is where you basically need to visualize yourself becoming lucid in your next dream. So lay down. You can do this several times a day or sit down, close your eyes and just imagine, try and imagine what it will be like to become lucid in a dream. You're walking down, you know, across a field. Then you look down at your hands, you become lucid and then you realize this is a dream. That's what you need to visualize. That exact moment that that happens, you need to visualize that several times a day. That's it. Okay, that's step two. Step three is to practice and kind of rehearse what you will be doing when you become lucid. So this is a bit different to just imagine, you know, visualizing becoming lucid. Now you need to visualize what you'll do once you're actually lucid. So imagine you've had that moment where you look at your hands and you realize you're dreaming. Now what are you going to do? So now you now need to visualize what you will do, the exact steps and things you will do in your dream once you become lucid. You can do this several times a day. Step number four is actually just as important as the other three steps. And that is you need to ground yourself during the day. This is going to help to stabilize your lucid dreams. What I mean by grounding yourself is doing things that are going to stabilize your sleep. Doing yoga, having a hot bath, physically grounding, like if you go outside barefoot at some point during the day. Try not to drink too much water before bed. Just kind of really ground and relax yourself before you actually go to sleep. This is quite important for this technique, actually. Step five, and by the way, there is actually a sixth bonus step, which I'll get onto in a second. But step five is you need to optimize your room and your house, essentially, for sleeping and lucid dreaming. The way you do this is through several things. You need to kind of do all of them. And that is the room needs to be quiet, dark, cold, and comfortable. They're the main things. However you do that, I don't care. You can use air conditioning. You can open a window a little bit although that's going to make it less quiet. So try and find a balance for, you know, your specific room, but it needs to be those four things. What you can also do is optimize yourself for lucid dreams. So don't drink, you know, two hours before bed. Don't look at screens two hours before bed. Don't have a huge meal, like a giant, you know, protein and fat heavy meal uh, just before going to bed. This is really not going to help you. It's just going to, you're just going to be digesting and, you know, your, your digestion is just going to be churning as you're trying to sleep and it's not going to help you dream. The sixth step is actually kind of a bonus, and that is just to follow a proven template to lucid dream. Many of the techniques and things you will read about online don't actually work. And especially the ones in forums, most of them are just lucky Redditors or people on Discord who happened to have a lucid dream when they were doing some particular weird like variation of a technique. And they're the only one who it's worked for. And it's just not going to work for you. You need to have something reliable, proven, based on a, you know a track record of working. Now, there's several ways you could do this. You could watch videos or learn from people who have done it. Watch my videos, for example. Or you could join our community, the Lucid Tribe. And 
I'm not going to say too much about this because I did actually make an entire video explaining how it works, but that is where you will find the, the serious lucid dreamers, the people who are regularly having lucid dreams. And we explain it, you know, a proven step-by-step -step template in that, in that community. It's all there. You also get access to like a huge library of binaural beats. Link is in the description. But I'd love you to comment and just let me know what you've been trying and what works the best for you. And I want to see kind of the most upvoted comments and see which techniques work the best for everybody else.